Oh, we're starting with uh, one of my dear friends. I'm so wonder. I'm so proud to call this person my friend. And since they've come into my life, uh, I feel like I've got a, a true partner in crime uh, when it comes to supporting the queer community and and pushing it into new dimensions that people have ever thought. Our first speaker is the founder and executive director of Black Pride YYC, a huge advocate for the black queer community, and her passion builds community empowerment, creating a space to belong. Black Pride YYC will be marching in the Calgary Pride Parade, so I want you to see you go nuts for them, and they will be running their first ever Pride event on August 29th, so make sure you're following Black Pride YYC to come and support them. So please give a warm welcome to Daphne DK Hart. I would like to acknowledge that this is the ancestral territories of the indigenous people, including the Siksika, Pikani, Kainai, Tiniki, Bespo, Goodstoni, Otipemisiwak. I would also like to acknowledge my ancestors who were here before me and set the tone for me to be able to walk on this land. Thank you so much. Uh, let me introduce you to Zoe. Zoe is a six-year-old who likes to play in the park. And on one sunny afternoon, Zoe saw a boy sitting in the corner and she walked up to him and said, hi, would you like to play with me? And the boy's face lit up and Zoe was happy at the potential of making a new friend. She didn't care where he came from, what his story was. We were all like Zoe growing up. We saw the world through innocent eyes. But as we grew older, society kind of taught us to see the differences in people and judge people based off of those differences, like race, gender, who they love, and then you put them in that box based off of those characteristics. However, discrimination and racism have divided us. History keeps telling us that there's, unit, there's power when we are in unity. Think about the civil rights movement. It wasn't just one person making a change. It was a collective communities actually fighting against oppression that was able to make changes. So you cannot spell community without unity of people communing together. So I want to tell you, remember Martin Luther King, remember Rosa Parks, these people have shown us time and time again the power we have when we act as one and we come together. What does unity mean to you? For me, unity is where my activism starts from in Calgary. Unity is celebrating our dif different um, characteristics, our uniqueness, and creating spaces where people feel included. That is where my activism starts from. I am shaping the history of the future. The legacy that I build today is what will shape the dreams of future black children. So what, what history do I want them to inherit? That's why I created the change called Black Pride YYC. Our, our, our mission is to make sure that we create space where people feel like they are safe and they belong. But you may ask, what unites us? For me, I think that our shared experiences unite us and a hope for what the future could be is part of what unites us, okay? Every ethnicity, regardless of your differences, is celebrated. All right, imagine um, threads of different colors were interwoven to form like a tapestry. That's what community is about, where everyone is celebrated with their uniqueness. Let me introduce you to Jollof Fries while you introduce me to Kilkia. Let me introduce you to Azonto dance while you introduce me to the powwow dance of the indigenous people. At Black Pride YYC, we try to ensure that everyone feels valid. You come with your stories, you are welcomed, you are safe, you are listened to, you are understood, and you're valid. No race is superior to another. Ensuring that no one is left behind actually takes effort and intentionality. Inclusivity is not just a buzzword, it's actual action. We have to be able to actively listen, we have to be able to support and advocate for one another. Because that's what inclusivity is about. How do you include people who have different abilities than you in your spaces? The question is for you. Building bridges with community is very important. Different communities exist in Calgary. So we need to be able to actively listen to each other and understand that we have to engage in meaningful dialogues 
and it's a collective effort. The key word here is collective. Nobody can do it by themselves, okay? And we hold so much power when we stand in one voice. Imagine supporting black-owned businesses, following pride parades. That way you understand that we are really just a human race. Don't let society segregate us. We all have a role to play in this journey of unity. I need you to understand that even if you support Black Lives Matter, you are on the Pride Parade, everybody has a role to play. Whether your role is on the protest ground, whether your role is at the table negotiating for policy changes, every single person has a role to play. So remember to check your biases when you deal with people who look different from you, okay? Unity doesn't always have to be serious. It could be a picnic in the park with people. You know, art, music, food, these are very powerful unifiers that bring us together and help us have a deeper understanding and deeper connections with one another. So I tell you now, the Black Pride YYC offers different programs that try to foster unity. We try to create opportunities for connections, whether it's through educational workshops or cultural festivals, every Every event is very intentional to foster that unity and safe space for people. Now, let me tell you a secret. Superheroes save the world one dance step at a time. Quote me anywhere. So you're all invited to Black Pride Party. Carla mentioned it earlier. Black Pride YYC's events are curated by black people, but it's to celebrate our culture as black people, but share our culture with non-black, so you get to understand us even more. So everyone is welcomed. Back to Serious Matter. Emotional connection is another way to, to foster unity. Remember the last time somebody sat and listened to you and actually understood you? That's what emotional connection brings. It fosters deeper connection. That way we can live together in unity. And I'll tell you one thing, tell your story. Telling your story is so important. If you share your stories, whether your failures, your success, it helps you to connect deeper. And it also helps someone else who may be going through what you're going through to feel not so alone. So please, remember to always tell your story to help us be unified. And I'll leave you with one thing. Unity is our superpower. Calvary is almost two million people, multicultural. How are we creating spaces that everyone feels included and welcome? So remember, I'll leave you with this. Check your biases for people that don't look like you. How are you including them? Thank you so much. Thank you.